Hello Virgo, how are you going? It's February. This is your general reading for February. I hope it's 2020 is treating you well so far, my loves. I really do. Um, oh, yep, good. Obviously, maybe yes, maybe no. Because that's the situation for you this month. Now, I like to clarify here. The tower is not always a bad thing. Quite often, it's one of those things where at the time, it feels like shit on a stick. But later you think, I am so glad that happened. It can also be something that happens when you ignore the hints for too long. The universe gives us wonderful hints and if we don't listen, it, it increases them. And then it gets louder and louder until it just says, look, I'm sick of waiting. Here, have this. So that's what's come out for you. And look, there we are. That's blocking this tower. What are you guys hanging on to? What's happening in your conscious awareness, my loves? This is some... Heavy duty energy. Oh my God, we've started with three, count them, three major arcanas. So February is going to be big for you. And since Virgo is I analyze, you're going to have a lot to analyze, but you already are because you're looking at this from a different perspective. You're trying to get insight into it and a higher learning from it, which is excellent. Go you Virgos. What are you not seeing though, my loves? A lot. There's a lot. He's very good at keeping things hidden. Oh. Yeah, you're going to move on from that. And you're going to step into some really strong um, independence and abundance, which is lovely. Um... I'm going to keep going because I'm hearing some things, but I need to get more of a story. What's led to this? What's led up to this? What's led up to this? Has it been the recent past or has it been a long time coming? lots you've been dealing with this for a while okay what do you need to be aware of it's coming up for Virgo in February lots of movement and fast this is going to happen fast um, Yeah, fast. You've got two eights there. Let's keep going. You might get a message come in to help you realise this and move on. Um, you might get an offer. Could be an offer. It could be a new direction. But whatever it is, I think when you really see this for what it is that will shine a light on that you will be better to move on i'll get some clarity around this a bit later yeah see there you've got the nine of cups and the knight of wands and the four of cups you're not seeing you're not seeing this because part of you is thinking that this is just another this 
is just another half-assed version of that. And you've already had that. And so you've turned your back on this. This is what you're not seeing. And I think part of it is you're worried that because it's so fast, fast moving energy, that you think it, it could be similar to what you've already really, really worked hard to get out of. Um, and that's what's keeping you suspended and not actually moving from it. That's too many. What's the advice for Virgo? Two eights and two nines, you're definitely progressing and you're moving you're moving into a beautiful direction. You're moving away from this dark, dark held back um, volatile, I just got volatile energy. And you're moving forward very, very quickly into independence. These are two nines and you'll see they're both single figures. I don't usually read reversals, but this blew out and it was in reverse. So I don't think you'll be crying over spilt milk anymore. I think that's the advice. Look up, what else have you got for Virgos? That off see how they're wearing a black cloak I just heard take it off because that is that that's weighing you down it's over your shoulders it's hanging over your shoulders and keeping you burdened and it's also keeping you from seeing new possibilities so definitely take that off and see things differently because it did come out like that which is very similar to the hanged man seeing things in a different light in a different view and the possible outcome look at that oh my god Ta -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. i feel like i need um trumpets and bugles announcing the um the beautiful destiny it's like the, the clouds are parting and the angels are singing and lighting the way for you. This is this is the clear the most clear advice I've had so far. So I'm just going to find out. Let's have these, shall we? I'm gonna try and get a bit more clarity around what this is, whether it's a job or whether it's a relationship. Um, living in the environment. What is this devil energy? What is this devil energy? Codependence. Yeah, a relationship. I don't think it was a very healthy one, given this. Saturn, yes, the world, the end, um, the end of a cycle, completion. Yep, um, it's the completion of that relationship. And I think, given that, that it's just crumbling, you can you could see it crumbling before you, and I think you were looking at it a different way, trying to see if there was anything that you could do, but I think now you see it for what it was and, and realize that this isn't a bad thing. Sometimes the tower comes to shake, shake that out of your way 
so you can see things in a different light and move forward in your authenticity. You're walking away from this bind of emotional tie and you're doing it very, very well and very quickly. Don't be afraid of this. Don't be afraid of this because even though it's moving, all of this is moving very fast for you, the, what's being offered is not the same as what you've already had because you've learnt from it. So the advice is to remove this from yourself, remove the burden, remove the heaviness. Um, Realise that it's over, it's gone. And, and that way you can breathe, you can enjoy this. This is very much freedom. And then you can um, step forward. Ace is very new beginning and it's a new beginning um, with passion and enthusiasm and fire and drive and it's, it's a gift. And this is total and utter abundance. I mean, this is, this is the works. Very stable, very loving, all things bright and beautiful. Um, so I'll finish this with a divine oracle, uh, animal oracle, because I'm loving them this month. Uh, if this has resonated with you or helped in some way, please let me know. Don't um, forget to... Please like, share and subscribe. And I've got a lot more coming up in February. So that's my, that's my turnaround. Um, and I hope this year is a good one for you. It's a year of work and um, challenges. But if you face them, You've got Capricorn and Jupiter behind you saying, we will help you grow what you put effort into. So you get to pick where your effort goes. Can we have an animal, please? Can we have an animal for Virgo? Maybe not. Maybe the animals don't want to speak. Maybe they've all gone into hibernation. Nope. There we go. The wolf. I love this. Look at this. Now, without reading it, the card is for authenticity. What I'm seeing here is the black cloak. This is the black cloak. And you've been told to put that down. I see this as a kind of mirror where you have the choice to either, and this is a, a spear, you have the choice here to keep this on and wound or at the very worst kill your, your inner strength and authenticity and drive. Or you can take the cloak off Lay the speed down and step into who you're really supposed to be. I love this. Let's just have a, a, a quick read, shall we? Number 17. I love these cards because they're so beautiful. If I could find the wolf, please. Can I find the wolf? The one before the wolf is the meerkat. I love the transition between the meerkat and the wolf. Okay. Authenticity. Discover who you really are by revealing your authenticity. This is always the best way. We all resonate a frequency. So if you are pretending to be someone you are not, you will keep attracting people with whom you do not resonate. It is necessary to negotiate a position with others sometimes and there should be no anxiety about differences of opinion. That is lovely. I'm just having a... Yeah. 
Here, listen to this. This is the magic of the wolf. Call upon the wolf when you wish to be all you can be in the fullness of your authenticity. While you do not have to be alone, being confident to live your life on your own terms very much embodies the energy of wolves. Wolf energy is also highly protective. You can call upon it in working when you feel fearful or wish to protect an ally. This is beautiful. You've got you've got the wolf at your back, my loves, and then you're just going to step into this. So go forth and prosper, I say. Take a big, deep breath. You've got this handled. You've got the strength you need. You've got the wisdom you need. And you've got everything behind you moving you forward very quickly in the right direction. I hope this helps. Um, please let me know if it resonates and I will see you next month, if not before. My love, as always, hugs and kisses. Bye.